What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the rank regulation F ladder, but this time using a justified Terrakion team. Now, Terrakion justified with beat up Whimscott is an old school combo we have seen plenty of times in metas past, but this time in regulation F, you haven't really been seeing it too much. So we're back showcasing this combo yet again. Let's see how we can do with it on the rank ladder today. But Terrakion is also rocking the choice band, so it doesn't just need Whimscott to help set up that attack boost it could pretty much thrive on its own using this choice band. It's got Rock Slide, it's got Sacred Sword for two stab moves, alongside with EQ and Terra Blast, which pairs up perfectly with the Flying Terror type. Wimscott is going to be Terrakion's partner, using Beat Up onto this Pokemon. Every time it hits with that Dark type move, Justified is going to allow Terrakion to get an attack boost, so if I lead these Pokemon, I can use Beat Up on Terrakion and get a free plus four boost on its attack stat. So from there, he can pretty much just sweep the battle get killing it with rock slide we love to see it hopefully we get to pull that off today we're gonna try to use terrakion as much as we possibly can other pokemon on today's team is going to be life orb heatran life orb heatran super super solid great special attacker and we also have ogre pond and dragonite two big time physical attackers that can do a lot of work on their own final pokemon on today's team is going to be our support slash trick room setter is going to be for rigor armor tail citrus berry psychic dazzle gleam helping hand and trick room one of the best support pokemon in this game guys you want to rent this team for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but let's get after it let's hop to our first match showcasing this beat up terrakion team match number one is here and we're going up against a scissor team. alongside with chiyu fluttermane super strong combo and then they have ogre pond roaring moon and urshadu so we can set up speed control no problem they have no fake out users which is great but on top of that they have no tailwind users so again actually they do have one tailwind user which is going to be roaring moon but i feel as just going into these two pokemon could really get us going so we go terrakion we go whimsicott and then in the back end to deal with the Fluttermane and Chiyu combo, I do like Heatran. Great ability to stop the fire moves from Chiyu. And on top of that, it is actually like four times resistant to Fairy with Fire and Steel. We love it. So I'm going to go into Heatran in the back end. And last but not least, we go Ogre Pond, where I could go in with this Loaded Dice Dragon. Pretty cool move set here. E-Speed, Scale Shot, Haze, and Iron Head. I love that. I do love that. But I think Ogre Pond is going to be the best option for us as it's going to be super effective onto the uh, Chiyu. And on top of that, if that is Water Earth Spoon, we have Water Absorb up against that. So, yeah, I like this move. I do like it. That's going to be the play. So, beat up Terrakion here in match number one. Looking for a big time win and hot start for today's video. I would love to just sweep this match with Terrakion. That would be absolutely amazing. It really would. Terrakion. I was actually planning on using this Pokemon like a while back when Regulation F first came out, but I kind of just forgot about it because I was showcasing so many other Pokemon. So when I seen this team today, I was just like, this is the time to use it. <laughs> Let's showcase this Pokemon and get after it. I just think because like the addition to Iron Boulder really kind of took the thunder away from Terrakion. So I think that was more so to play. But they end up going Fluttermane, which is fine. Alongside with... Alongside with... uh. Ogre Pond. And to be honest, um, I might just Flying Terror here and Tailwind and maybe just take out the Ogre Pond. I think that could be our best bet, to be honest here. Choice into that instead of going into like a Rock Slide or something. I think that's going to be our play. Just choice into Flying Terror, Terror Blast. And have them maybe Terrasalize. Oh, that's going to be Ogre Pond. But he's going straight Grass for some speed. So this could still be very, very good for us, right? He's going straight grass. He's going to get a speed boost. But I still think after this tailwind, my boy outspeeds. I would hope so. I would really hope so. And he can't be Focus Sash either, which is great because he has the mask as his item. So big time terror coming in from us. We're going to set up this level with tailwind. We have Encore on Wimscott, which I love. But from here, there's no way he's protecting that Ogre Pond after terror so i'm gonna be able to tailwind up we got the flying terror cooking i think control is out speeding this is still gonna chunk up some damage here but in a nice little grass type we're gonna be able to soak it up a little bit better here and now we can drop this big time terror blast so good thing they terrestrialize as well because i love just getting rid of their terror type right beautiful choice span terrakion for the ko the big time ko for us um 
or choice into this flying move, which isn't too bad up against the Pokemon that they have. I kind of like where we're sitting. Dazzling Gleam's going to follow behind, and a Pokemon soak rather well. But I really like that turn, considering now we have Tailwind Speed Control. They're forced to bring out Urshu, which could be choice. It for sure could be choice. And if it is choice, he's just going to go after Trakion. So I'm going to do that with Moonblast. I'm just going to stick with a Terra Blast into this uh, Flutterman slot. We're just going to go for Aqua Jet, which we, I was going to say, should soak. That works fine. Moonblast is going to cook over here. Deal some big time damage. And then Terra Blast is going to also fly over to this slot. So I kind of wish I Terra Blast to Urshfu. It would have been really nice, but that works just as well to Rakion's one shot in the Fluttermane. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that works just as well. And now we're sitting here. All of our Pokemon left. They have two left. Urshfu's kind of low on HP. And the final Pokemon is going to be Roaring Moon. The Roaring Moon comes out here. Could pop a Tailwind. He's going to Protosynthesis boost, and it is in speed. So that actually leads us in a tougher position because we have two turns left in Tailwind. And I got to make sure his Urshfu goes down. So I'm just going to double down into Urshfu, right? It's probably going to Aqua Jet me. Maybe set up a Tailwind. We're hoping that his Protosynthesis boost doesn't allow it to outspeed Boomscott because I really would love to just get rid of this Pokemon and turn this into like a 2v1 situation with my Pokemon in the back end. But it is good news that they don't have Terror. We do like that. But we have Heatran chilling in the back end. I like Heatran. Ogrepan's okay. And they end up just detecting here. Smart little play. Now the real question is, are they Tailwinding? I could Encore that. That, what's it called? That Earth Street. But Chancellor is going to Aqua Jet. He's going to end up setting up a Tailwind of his own. Okay, so he might just want to double down again. But now he outspeeds me pretty, pretty well here, right? Now he outspeeds me pretty well. This is actually real tough. This is real tough. I'm going to double down to Urshfu again. Um, I wish I had Protect on Wimscott because I would Protect and then set up another Tailwind. But now we're sitting in a tough position. Terrakion killed it, but now they have speed. They have Tailwind up, and I have these two Pokemon in the back end, which is real tough. Without Terra for you, um, I do have Follow Me. Ooh, Follow Me good. Follow Me's good. Okay, so we're just going to play this one out see how this one goes. So... From here, we're just going to go Terra Blast, and we're going to double down to Urshfu. There's the Aqua Jet. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, and then War Moon probably just goes for, like, an Acrobatics. It takes out the Wimscott. Most likely. If Wimscott gets off a turn, that's massive. But yeah, there's Acrobatics, and I'm dead to that all day. So now, my Tailwind ends. They have Tailwind up. That Protect was huge. It was huge. But I really want to get rid of the Urshfu. Now I have these two Pokemon. No Terra either. Gotta remember. No Terra. And they have Acrobatics. This is brutal. This is brutal. This is real brutal. Now Urshfu could detect again. Or it could go for a Surgeon Strikes. It could definitely go for a Surgeon Strikes. And you know what? I'm gonna go follow me. Or I could just Spiky Shield here. No, I don't want a Spiky Shield because I don't want that thing to go for Surgeon Strikes and just KO me. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go Earth Power this slot. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Earth Food doesn't protect again. And then they drop an Acrobatics, because that could be real tough. That could be real tough. I know it has close combat, too. I'm going for Follow Me just in case the Surgeon Strikes wants to pop out here. We'll see. This match is going to be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, but we're really hoping Earth Food doesn't protect you. Be another big play. That'd be another big protect from Urshfu in this game. And it does. Oh my lord. This Urshfu is just being a pain to me. It's being a pain. Now he's going to be able to acrobatics and most likely KO. Actually, maybe not. It's not stat. Okay, you don't KO. You don't KO. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing. I really am. Actually, I can't. I can't do the same thing. I can't do the same thing because this... Oh, my lord. This is brutal. This is brutal. We're, we're going to lose this match. This match is over. We lost. We lost. He's going to go for a close combat in this slot. We lost this match. That's so brutal. I would think he would go for close combat just to dodge to follow me, right? If he goes for close combat, that's going to KO. If we use follow me, the what's called goes first. I'm just going to go for Spike Shield and hope that 
maybe he doesn't go for close combat. We'll see. This is tough. This is tough. Big time speed control from them. Two huge protects come out. There's acrobatics, and this has got to be either cer certain strikes can fall into the slot now, too. There's certain strikes. Yeah, that's game. Wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. Smart plays from our opponent. Big time protects from Urshfu, to be honest with you. To be honest, I just seen Urshfu as that big threat, but maybe I should have just read the protect. I was just going for the simple plays. Ends up hurting us. But Terrakion thrives out match number one. Let's go hop to our second and look for our first win. So guys, I guess just bad plays on our end. Doubling down in that Urshfu wasn't the call there. And on top of that, I maybe should have read the protect later in the match when it protected our earth power for the second time. But hey, we'll take that one on the chin. Smart plays from our opponent to protect that Urshfu and make good reads on me. So... I wanted to get things started, didn't think we played bad, just made a bad call at the end. Probably should have, instead of doubling down Urshfu, just sent attacks to both slots, just so I can get off some damage. But they set up that Tailwind perfectly after that protect, and it was just looking not good for us, considering we didn't have Terra type either. But we're hopping into our second match, we're going up against a Trick Room team, a full Trick Room team, I should say, with a Ranguru to set the Trick Room, that's the only Pokemon they can set the Trick Room with. And on top of that, they got Torkoal, they got Amoongus, they got Gargonackle, and then uh, Urshifu. Not Urshfu, uh, Incineroar and Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna. Okay, so I could go Frigograph here to kind of counter Trick Room. I could also go in maybe with, like, Whimsicott, which isn't too bad because I can always Encore Pokemon into Trick Room. Right? That's not a bad call. Do I want to do that? Kind of. I kind of do. I kind of do want to do that. It's actually looking pretty solid. That's actually looking pretty solid. Encore and Trick Room go into these two. Maybe just go for a beat up combo here. I mean, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time to pick. So that, we're going to try that out. We're going to go in with the same squad here. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Our only problem would be if they lead a fake out user. We wouldn't like that. We, we wouldn't like that one bit because then they can just like fake out Terrakion. They can get after that. But still, next turn, I can always just Encore them into either fake out or into the Trick Room, making them cancel out their own Trick Room. So my plan here is hoping they lead like a Rangaroo or something. And then I just beat up with Terrakion, get the boost, and then just Encore it next turn. They can cancel out their own Trick Room, but instead they end up going these two. Which now they can Spore me. They can Fake Out and they can Spore me. Something that mm, we don't like. We don't like. Attack drops coming hot here. Hopefully they end up faking out the... What's it called? Hopefully they end up faking out the Whimsicott. That'd be massive, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. They're going to go into here. They don't have any Trick Room users on the field, which is pretty big for us. But I think their plan here is just like maybe parting shot out here and put a Pokemon to sleep and then set up the Trick Room. I think that's more so their play than So again, we're going to really hope that he fakes out the Whimsicott, which he does. We love that. And I can go for this nice lovely beat up now. Okay, cool. So they do end up faking out the Whimsicott with the Covert Club. With the Covert Club. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to be able to go for beat up. I go plus four with choice band. We could say actually plus three because he did intimidate us. But we could probably say most likely say bye bye to Incineroar. Unless we miss a rock slide. And now we're probably going to miss a rock slide. And we don't. Cool. So Incineroar dead. Gone. And Amoongus survives in the red. Which kind of hurts because I know I'm going to sleep here. So we can say night night to Terrakion here. But we get the flinch. <laughs> we get the flinch. That's so massive. That's so massive. Cool. So beat up Terrakion. Thriving out here in match number two. Got it set up. They don't have Trick Room. And they're forced to bring out Ursa Luna. They're forced to bring it out here. They are forced to bring it out here. So we are choice into Rock Slide here. Um, I think our best bet would just be doubling down into Ursa Luna. They could go for a Rage Powder. But I could also beat this thing up. I could just put it plus... Yeah, we might as well, right? We might as well. What are you, plus three? We might as well put it plus six. Better than throwing a moon blast in there. Oh, we are so doing it. Plus your grass type, right, Wimscott? Your grass, yeah. Grass fairy, so he won't be affected if Rage Powder does come onto the field. We are throwing this out there. Plus six onto the Terrakion. Choice Band as well. And they just cancel battle. Match number two ending just like that. 
just like that, it took one turn for our, our opponent to cancel. Really wish they would have played it out because I would have loved to see plus six Terrakion just rip it on the field with Rock Slide. But they said, nah, we're not having that. I'm done. I lost this match. And they waved the flag. They're like, I'm out. Done. But we're hopping into our third and final match. We are sitting at one and one. We'd love to grab ourselves a winning record. And we're going up against more of a meta team featuring Tornadus, Amoongus, Metagross, and then on top of that, Raging Bolt and Sinor. And last but not least, they do have the Galarian, uh, Galarian Zapdos. So, I mean, they could lead Incineroar here. Wouldn't be crazy to lead Incineroar. And I kind of want to maybe go into a Pokemon like this. Would be a lot of fun to use Scale Shot with the Loaded Dice. Pretty cool. I could go into Heatran. I don't think Heatran's bad with Flash Fire. Could be good. I could also go into Whimscott. So, I think Whimscott is going to be a lead, especially with the Cover Cloak. And I think I am going to lead Heatran. I like Heatran. Yeah, we're going to go Heatran here. So Heatran is going to be our second Pokemon. In the back end, we're going to bring Ogre Pond. like this Pokemon a lot. And last but not least, let's go in with the Scale Shot. Or I could go back in Terrakion. I do like back in Terrakion, especially with EQ and Rock Slide, all that good stuff for all these Pokemon. I think it has super effective moves for five of these Pokemon, correct? Metagross, Raging Bull, Incineroar, the Bird, and Tornadus. Yeah, Rock Slide, EQ. Cleans that up a lot. I love it. I love it. Plus, we have Sacred Sword. I think we have Sacred Sword. I believe we do, which is a solid move. Solid move. I like it. I like Terrakion in the back end. Nice choice band Pokemon. Always can thrive out in the, as like the last Pokemon. I kind of wish I would have led it here. Rock Slide would have been gorgeous. Would have been gorgeous, but they end up going into the bird instead. Now, the bird kind of annoys me. Not going to sit here and lie. I'm just going to set up a Tailwind here and... Instead of setting up a Tailwind, oh, dude, I'm terrified to do this, but I'm going to Moonblast Heat Wave. This is scary. I think this is a bad call, but I'm doing it anyway. It's risky. It's risky. It's risky. I like the typing. I kind of like the typing that we have up against them. Well, not defensive-wise, offensive-wise, because they can rip up into me. Fighting move into Heatran from the bird. Not look good. Bleak Windstorm, not look good, but I'm kind of hoping they set up a Tailwind here, which they do. Because now, as long as my Wimscott survives this turn, we can really get cooking here. There's a Thunder's Kick. Can you soak this? Probably not, hopefully. You do! My dog! You get a defense drop, but we'll take that all day. Because now, I throw out a Moonblast. Risky play. Calls for risky rewards. Calls for risky rewards. Picking up a KO onto the bird. They set up a Tailwind, and now we can set up a following Tailwind, which is great. And hopefully you die to that. You do. That that works perfectly. Because Heatran, let's be honest, you weren't getting off any value this next turn. So Heatran dies. Now I can bring out my rock guy. My rock monster. Save Ogre Pond. Because I like Rock Slide. Now I can set up Tailwind. And they're going to go into Amoongus. I don't mind that. They could put me to sleep. Something we don't like. And instead, do I go for Beat Up? No. We're, we're just going to set up the Tailwind, like I said. So Tailwind... I could go Terra, Terra Blast, but I'd rather just go for Rock Slide with a Choice Band. I'd rather go for Rock Slide with a Choice Band, let's be real here. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. So they could Rage Powder here. They're going to go for a Substitute. Ooh. Substitute comes out from that, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, he's probably going to put me to sleep, which I don't mind. But as long as I can take off the Substitute with this Rock Slide, it'd be pretty good for us. Maybe I can get a flinch like last battle. A little bit of flinch action. A little bit of flinch action. The sub's gonna fade, we can always moon blast it next turn. A little bit of flinch action. No, of course we don't. We used our all of our flinch luck in the last match. But now my Terrakion is slumped. He said night night. I'm going to bed. But these Pokemon don't really have a lot. They don't really have a lot to do a lot of damage on them, right? Um I could Encore Prankster this thing. Into substitute. That seems pretty cool. Waste out some more turns. Let's just go for rock sides. Yeah. Encore you straight into that substitute. Go ahead. Try you substitute again. You can't. You're too low on HP. You simply can't. Thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Tornash. You gotta swap out or either stay in. So Terrakion's gonna be slumped. Amoongus probably most likely going for a Palm Puff. Maybe it'll restore HP. Or just do some damage here. Yeah. Just do some damage. And that works out fine because now I can just go for a Moon Blast. Because you either have to swap out. And I can stick with this Rock Slide. Hoping that I can wake up this turn. Smart plays on the jeans end, right? Real smart plays on the jeans. 
So now they're out here with a Pokemon Encore in Subsuit, and the other Pokemon is Amoongus, who simply just can't do that that big of damage, right? We're gonna be forced to hard swap. Now we're going into Moonblast and Slot. It's gonna be Raging Bolt. So this should be decent damage. Not anything crazy, but decent damage, right? Yeah. And we get the special attack drop, which is gorgeous. <laughs> which is gorgeous. Pompo's probably gonna fly back into the uh, Wimscott slot. And no, she's gonna keep the heals going. I'm gonna go for the heals this time. So heals come out here. Tailwind is gone. I might wanna swap Terrakion. Or now might be a good turn to actually just go for beat up and rock side. Hope that we wake up, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, choice into that. Alright, choice in that. We will only go plus three here because we are we only have three Pokemon in the party, which is good. Or which is okay. Not as good as plus four, but still. Plus three choice ban. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. If we wake up here, we should be able to take out. Oh, it's only two hits? Did I lose another Pokemon? I'm a little confused, but Ewab's gonna fly here. Um, we will have speed up against this thing. I wonder what move is you healing up again or are you attacking? Just attacking. That might boost our attack set again, to be honest. My team's Tailwind's gone. Um, I could set up another one here. But to be honest, I think beat up's gonna be the play because I don't think they can KO my Wimscott this turn. I really don't. So Terrakion takes the three turns of sleep, which is kind of annoying. We don't like it one bit. But still, I'm just gonna use beat up again onto this thing. Just to boost its stats. Terrakion, can you wake up, please, and thank you? Just land this rock slide for us. Just land it for us. Just do them dirty. Thunderbolt's gonna come across here. You soak that all day. And I wake up and rock slide connecting on both. We love you. Moongus definitely dies out of that, right? Yes, sir. And Ridge Bolt low on HP. So from here, I can set up a Tailwind if I want to. Um, I might be forced to set up a Tailwind because they're gonna bring out their Tailwind user. But something I could do here is just go into a. I could, if I really want to, just go into a, uh, a Moonblast here, but I'm just going to play it safe. I don't want to throw two matches today. We're going to go Rock Slide Tailwind. Rock Slizzle Tailwind. My Tailwind comes out before theirs. Or if they don't go for it, we just win on this Rock Slide, right? They don't go for it. Cool. We should be fine. Unless you're Thunderclap. Oh, you probably should have Thunderclap. Probably should have. Surprised you're outspeeding me. Rockside's gonna come across, and there's double KO. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 0 oh for today's video. Not 2 and 0, oh, 2 and 1 for today's video. Killing it with Terrakion, using it in all three matches, setting up the beat up, allowing it to do insane damage with his choice band. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Beat up Terrakion, or I should say, justified Terrakion in ranked regulation F. This Pokemon absolutely killed it today, pairing up with Whimsicott and with that choice band, doing an insane amount of damage with its stab rock slide move. All three matches we got to use this Pokemon. The first match, we did not use the beat up combo. We just simply went with Choice Band Rock Slide, doing big time damage on that. And then match number two and match number three, we set up the beat up, giving this thing attack boost, and people were just quitting left and right, quitting in one turn, and just dominating with Terrakion. Other Pokemon on today's team really thrived out, such as the Heatran. We have the Ogre Pond out here, and I don't even think we used Dragonite or Freak. Doesn't matter. This video is all about Terrakion. Hopefully, I showcased it really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.